Hi hi, this is Amy. Welcome back to my channel. This video is gonna be an empty haul. There are a few products that I've finished in the past three months and I wanted to share with you guys. First thing first is this coconut body butter from Trader Joe's. If you love coconut or you don't hate the smells of coconut, please give this body butter a try. It's free, affordable, it's only $4.99. But if you don't like the scent of coconut, don't even bother trying it because there's a rich scent of coconut. Every time after I use it, my laundry and blanket will have the same smell as this body butter. This body butter is very really moisture. Not sticky because I don't like body lotions or body butter that is sticky and your skin will feel so smooth after you use it. I would definitely repurchase this in the future. The next one is this body scope from Sabon. The favorite that I finished is jasmine and also green rose. Both of them smell really delightful. The Desi sauce in this product is just the right size to clean your skin but it's not gonna hurt at all. After you use this product, there will be a layer of oil on your skin. You won't feel uncomfortable, but soft, moisture, and smooth. When I use this product in the summertime, I will not apply lotion after it because it's moisture enough for me. I will apply a layer of cream with not much scent in this winter because I don't want to cover the scent from this product. Overall, I highly recommend this product and I would definitely purchase this again and again. Next one is also from Sabon, is the hand cream. To be honest, I love the body scope from this brand but I don't like the hand cream that much. Every time I use it, same as the body scope, there is a layer of oil on my hand. However, the body scope does not feel oily or leaves some oiliness on things that I touch, the hand cream does. It takes a long time to absorb, so I don't really recommend it and I will not purchase this again. Next one is this lip product from DHC. It's called lip cream but it's a lip balm. This is one of the Japanese drugstore best-selling lip balm. The main ingredient in this product is olive oil. oil. This is my third lip balm that I finished from this brand. Some people say they don't like the smell of it, but it's acceptable to me. And it's just the olive oil smell. So if you don't like the smell of olive oil, you may not like it. The product is moisture, long lasting. I use it mostly before I go to sleep and I can still feel the moisture the next morning I wake up. It is not easy to get in the US, but I got three of them in a package size from Costco before. So I'm not sure if Costco carries this brand or not. And I will definitely repurchase this the package size if I saw it in Costco the next time, since I finished three of them already. The next one is a hair product. It's Christopher Robin Detox Scope and Repair Mask. I hear a lot of good things about the detox scope. I want to try it for a while and saw this mini set in Sephora. So I decided to give this a try. I would say I like the outcomes of both products together. If I only use the detox scope, my scalp will be clean, will end up clean. However, the tips of my hair will feel a little bit dry. So after the detox scope, I use the repair mask at the tips of my hair to give it back some moisture and shine. If your hair is oily, I would definitely recommend the detox scope. If you are dry, you can try out the repair mask. Since I got a mini set, I use both of them together and I love the outcomes of it. The next one is this Enrich Lotion and Emulation from Frankel. It's also a brand from Japan and the product is clean, there's nothing harmful, sensitive free, 100% preservative free. This is my second set of lotion and emulations. It costs lotion but it's actually toner. When I use the first set of this product, besides the moisture and the product's enrichness, I did not feel any special from it. 
However, during season change, and my face got a little bit sensitive, this product helps a lot to calm down the redness on my face. So if you are sensitive skin types and get sensitive between seasons, I would recommend it. You have to be mindful that once you open the product, be sure to finish them in 2-3 to three months. But the size is only 30 milliliter, and I finished both of them in less than 2 months. The next one is this water spray. I put this on my desk since I have lecture Zoom classes now. Every time I feel sleepy, I will spray it on my face to like wake myself up. So this is a good product to wake you up when you are feeling tired or sleepy at work or in class time. I like the smell of it. It's grape water. There's a sense of grape. It's kind of moisture, but I don't feel much in the winter time. It's just a great product to wake me up during class time. Next one is this two mini size of cream from Shiseido. One is the Essential Energy Moisturizing Cream, and the next one is the Beneficial Wrinkle Smoothing Cream. Both creams smell very good. You can tell they add a fragrance in this product, but the smell will make you feel so calm when you use it. The texture of both cream is soft and easy to absorb. It's not sticky, and both of them are moisture enough to use in the winter time. They are great product, but there are many brands that I would like to try that are more affordable to me compared to these two, the full size of it. The next one is this Herbal Blending Essence from Natural Republic. There are two layers of this product. The top is the oil and the bottom is like the serum. You need to shake well before using it. As the name of it, there's a floral scent. It is moisture in the winter time as well. I love the cream from Natural Republic, the same line, the herbal blending. That one is very moisture and I finished that one like last year and I'm still using this. <laughs> but it's almost done and the caps of it broke so I can't finish the bottom. Moving on to our last product. This product is from Habalabu. It's also a Japanese skincare and it's most known for their toner. I will put pictures here. You'll probably see the toner in Asian skincare store, but the set that I'm gonna review is not easy to find in the US. I'm sorry about it. My I got the first set from Hong Kong and this is my second set from Taobao. This line of product is made out of rice water. According to their research, there are many good ingredients in rice water. That's why they created this line. So back to the product, I love the toner very much. I love the design of this bottle. One pump is just the right amount for my whole face. Same as many of my other products that I review. It's moisture, easy to absorb, not sticky. The cream feels the same. One special thing about this cream is the texture of it. The texture feels like softly. It's very soft and you will have to melt it in your hand before you apply it to your face. Overall, if you can get these two products, I will recommend it so much. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the products that I reviewed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye!